Swamiji, the famous proverb, health is wealth, becomes all the more relevant as we get older and affected by various physical discomforts and diseases. Even the most common illness like a cold or a cough will have an effect on our daily routine. How do we endure these hardships, keeping our faith intact? Yes, the body is a unique and peculiar instrument that is subjected to go through wear and tear and all sorts of disorders. The endless changes that happen to the body, like uh, birth, growth, decay, disease, and death. They are all part of our pilgrimage from birth to death. All belong to the physical body. We try to realize the truth that when the creation of the body takes place, it carries along with it the physical and spiritual loss. Any violation of such loss causes imbalance to the body and the mind, leading to pain and suffering. If we constantly hammer this into our understanding of our life, we may be able to stand the test and endure the pain to a very great extent. A regulated life with simple living habits may help us to go along with the laws, the spiritual law and the physical law, to a very great extent. All our actions should be measured and made. This is very important. As we take medicine in measured doses, so should be the case with our food and sleep and in fact with everything. All the sense organs should be under strict vigil. We should be ever alert, lest we should eat too much or sleep too much or have a roving eye. All our activities should thus be continuously examined with meticulous care. One method to manage the bodily uh, suffering could be to, during our healthy period, ponder over every now and then that we have a body, yet we are not the body. The door of the body is different from the body. This we have to keep on pondering over, every now and then. This will gradually help us in detaching from the body at least for a few moments. And this practice will also help in enduring pains to a great extent. Not that we will not feel the pain, but we will be able to endure it to a maximum extent and carry on with our daily routine or sadhana. It's a tough job, no doubt. But by persist, perseverance and uh, persistent effort, we will be able to succeed to a very great extent. Hari